A kid was sent to the principal's office for being naughty. The principal says, well, what's your name, son? He says, J -j 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 John, 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 Johnny. He says, oh, do you have a stutter? He says, no, but my dad does. And the person that registered my name, he was an asshole. Little Johnny's wife comes home from the store and says, I just noticed they were selling lemon-scented feminine deodorant. Little Johnny says, well, yeah, that makes sense. Lemon goes very well with fish. Little Johnny got sent home early one day and his mom asked him why. He said, because I was the only one that got the question right. She says, well, what was the question? He said, the question was, who threw the eraser at the teacher? Well, Johnny's sitting on the bus and there's this lady that gets on that's highly respected in the community. She smells really good, so little Johnny gets up the nerve to say and says, hey, uh, what kind of perfume is that and where did you get it? I'd like to buy some for my wife. Well, she looks over at him in disgust and she says, it's Chanel and it's from Paris. Well, Johnny says, okay, thank you. So about 10 minutes go by and little Johnny, he's got a fart, so he lets out a silent one and takes a little while, but she smells it and she says, oh my gosh, what is that from? Little Johnny says, it's garlic from Gilroy City in California. There's these three old ladies sitting on a park bench. Big John runs by and flashes them. Two of the old ladies have a stroke, but the other one, she couldn't quite reach. Little Johnny's on an airplane and he has to use the bathroom real bad. But the line to the men's room is so long, so he asked the flight attendant if he could use the, the woman's bathroom. She says, yes, little Johnny, that's fine, but make sure you don't push any of the buttons. He says, no, ma'am, I won't. So little Johnny goes in there and he takes a crap and he notices the buttons. He's like, well, what could they hurt? So the first button was a blue button. He says, all right, I'll push it. So he pushes it, puts some little water on his butt. He's like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Second button was a red button. So he pushes that button. It blows a little air up on his butt. He says, oh, wow, that was kind of nice. He's like, well, the first two were great. So he pushes the third one. It says ATR on it. And he wakes up in the hospital. He wakes up and he says, what happened? What happened? And the flight attendant's there. And she says, I told you not to push any of them buttons. He says, well, the first two were great. He says, well, what was it? She said, ATR stands for automatic tampon remover. One day, little Johnny was in college and... He had a little after party at his house, and so people went over to his house pretty late. And he was showing them around. He says, well, this is my bedroom, and this is my kitchen, this is my living room. And in his living room, he had this big pot hanging on the wall with a hammer next to it. His friend says, okay, well, what's that? He says, oh, that's my talking clock. I'm like, oh, I've never seen one of them before. Well, how's it work? He thinks like this. He picks up the hammer and he smashes it as hard as he can. And then from the other side of the wall, you hear, are you kidding me? Are you crazy? Do you know it's 1.30 in the morning? He says, see, talking clock. Little Johnny's sitting on the living room floor playing with his train set. And he says, all right, I'm stopping in five minutes. Any of you bastards want to get off, get off. Five minutes go by and he says, all right, any of you bastards want to get off, get off. Any of you bastards want to get on, get on. His dad yells from the kitchen. He says, little Johnny, I don't know where you learned to talk like that. He says, but you're going into timeout for a half hour. So little Johnny goes and sits in timeout for a half hour and he comes back to his train set. He said, any of you bastards want to get on, get on. Any of you bastards want to get off, get off. Oh yeah, sorry about the half hour delay. You can blame the old bastard in the kitchen. Little Johnny came home early from the pool one day and said, mom, I got kicked out. He said, little Johnny, what'd you do this time? He said, well, I had to go pee real bad. The bathroom was too far away, so I went over to the deep end and started peeing. And that lifeguard blew that whistle so loud, I almost fell in. And you know I can't swim in the deep end yet. Teacher says to the little boy, well, why'd you laugh? He goes, because they saw your bra strap. She says, you get out of my class for a week. Another kid laughs, goes, well, what are you laughing about? He says, ha, I saw both of your bra straps. And she goes, oh. You kids, she goes, you get out of my class for a month. Then she dropped the chalk and bent over to pick it up and little Johnny starts walking out of class. She says, well, where are you going, little Johnny? He says, well, teach, with what I saw, my school days are over. Little Johnny's in class and he gets in trouble for pulling his pants down and playing with his pecker going, little fishy, little fishy, little fishy. Teacher says, go to the principal's office. Principal said, little Johnny, what'd you do? He says, I did this. And he pulls his pants down and he goes, I went, little fishy, little fishy, little fishy. Principal says, I'm calling your mother. 
Mother comes and picks him up. And says, little Johnny, what happened? What'd you do? He said, I just pulled my pants down. I went, little fishy, little fishy, little fishy. She says, you go tell your dad what you did. He goes and shows his dad, and his dad looks at him. He pulls his pants out. He goes, big well, big well. There's an elderly lady that was listening to the radio, and she heard the song, Two Lips and Seven Kisses. So she writes the name of the song down and then wants to call a record store to see if they have the record so she can buy it because she really liked the song. Well, she mixed up the numbers and she ended up calling a gas station and little Johnny answered the phone. She said, excuse me, sir, do you have two lips and seven kisses? He says, no, but I have two balls and seven inches. She says, oh, is that a record? He says, no, I'm pretty sure it's average. Little Susie asked little Johnny, what's the difference between snowmen and snow women? Well, Johnny says, that's easy. Snowballs. <laughs> little Johnny's dad goes out and buys a robot that slaps people when they're lying. So it's kind of like a lie detector. So he decides to try it out on little Johnny one day. And he says, hey, little Johnny, what'd you do today? And he says, I did homework. And that robot just smacks him across his face. He says, okay, okay, okay. I was watching a movie. His dad said, oh, yeah, what movie were you watching? He said, Toy Story. The robot smacks him across his face. He says, okay, 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 we were watching porn. His dad says, what? At your age, I didn't even know what porn was. And the robot smacks him across his face. And his mom says, well, he certainly is your son. And the robot smacks her across the face. <laughs> well, Johnny wants to buy some dog food, so he brings the dog food up to the counter, and the clerk says, well... We need to have evidence that you have a dog before we could sell this to you. So little Johnny goes home and brings the dog back and they sell him the dog food. The next day, little Johnny goes back to the store and he brings up some cat food to the counter. And they said, well, we can't sell you cat food unless you show me proof that you have a cat. So little Johnny goes home, brings back his cat and shows that he has a cat. They sell him the cat food. At this point in time, little Johnny is very upset. So the next day he brings a box with a little hole in it. He goes right up to the cashier and he says, why don't you put a couple fingers inside? So the cashier does and she says, oh, it feels nice and warm and soft. He says, okay, now you're satisfied. Can I get some toilet paper, please? Little Johnny asks his dad, what did you do before the internet? His dad smiles and says, why don't you go ask your 16 brothers and sisters? So he did and they didn't know either. Little Johnny's in college and he's gonna go on a date with a girl. So he goes and picks her up at her parents' house. He figured it's first date, so he might as well take her on over to the carnival. He parks the car and says, okay, well, what do you want to do? What do you want to do first? And she looks at him, she says, I want to get weighed. Well, Johnny says, great, I know the spot where you can go over, you step on the scale, and if they can't guess your weight within 10 pounds, you win a nice prize. So they head on over there and they wait in line for 30 minutes. They finally get to the front, standing there in front of the scale, and little Johnny says, well, what are you waiting for? Get on. And she looks at him in disgust. She says, I want to go home. And little Johnny's like, well, fine. You know, you wasted my whole night here. And he says, I'd, I'd rather just go home anyways. So little Johnny gets her home and her mom comes on out when they pull up the driveway and says, well, you guys weren't gone very long. What happened? And the girl says, well, let me tell you, mom, it was wowsy. One day, little Johnny got sent home from school for throwing a rock at a kid. So I said, little Johnny, what'd you do that for? She said, he threw it at me first. She goes, I told you to come to me if anything ever happens like that said, why would I come to you? I'm a much better aim than you are. Johnny and little Susie had been married for 60 years. Well, one day little Johnny just up and dies. Little Susie decides that she cannot live without her beloved little Johnny, so she decides to end her life. After thinking about it for a long time, she decides she's going to shoot herself through the heart. She wanted this to be quick and painless, so she calls up her doctor to find out her exact location of her heart. The doctor says, well, it's approximately two inches below your left nipple. And it was that evening that little Susie was admitted into the hospital for shooting out her left knee. Little Johnny asked his dad if he had any imaginary friends when he was growing up. To which his dad responded, no, we didn't have Facebook back then. Little Johnny's gonna go to prom with his girlfriend and he decides to go rent a tux. Well, there's a super long line to rent a tux, but he waits patiently and he finally gets it. Then after that, he's gonna go buy the flowers. He has to go and wait in a long line again, but he finally gets up to the front and he gets the flowers paid for. Then after that, he wants to go rent the limo. The line's even longer, but he finally gets the limo rented. 
So the day comes and he goes to the prom and he's dancing with his girlfriend. And she says, little Johnny, would you please go get me some punch? And little Johnny goes and thankfully there's no punchline. <laughs>